Hiya folks. Glad to see you on my channel. Today I will sculpt the most popular emoji emoticons, and at the same time I will tell you about the history of the appearance of these very emoticons. Watch to the end, it will be interesting. How often, when you write a message to someone, do you think about where emoticons came from and who invented them? Now there are a large number of different emojis, and this includes not only funny faces, but also fruits, cars, or even numbers. But before, no one could have thought that these simple pictures would become such a popular accessory for social communication networks. It all started with the fact that one company in 1963 decided that it was necessary to raise the team spirit of their team due to the fact that their company merged with non-resident competitors. And this company asked the artist Harvey Ball to draw something fun to cheer up. The artist got down to his work and finished it in about 10 minutes, outlining only a yellow circle and drawing a black muzzle. For this work he was paid a one-time payment of $45, and then all the posters and badges with a print began to fly like hotcakes. And already in the early 70s, another company began to produce souvenirs with a smiley face and the inscription have a nice day. They knew who drew it, but decided that with the inscription it would be a different product. The most interesting thing was that Harvey Ball could not even imagine that he could earn such money on his offspring and did not even try to register it for himself. But soon the French journalist Franklin Lufrani took care of this. He really did not like that the news in the newspaper was always negative and he also decided to come up with a symbol with which he could mark good stories. The drawings of the artist and the journalist were almost the same, but Franklin, unlike Ball, registered his drawing and sold the license. Then, in the early 70s, a movement similar to American hippies appeared in France, where young guys fought for love and freedom, while criticizing the thinking of the old generation, and Lufrani just decided not to miss this moment, he printed and distributed more than 10 million stickers for free. As a result, emoticons became very popular and could be found everywhere, both on cars and on poles in the city. Well, thanks to this journalist, proposals for cooperation began to arrive, for example, from such giants as Mars and Levi's. And in 1999, the Japanese Shigataka Kurita worked on the iMode mobile internet platform and came up with emoji symbols in order to simplify communication on cell phones. The first emoji is a set of just over 170 characters, each of which fits into a 12 by 12 pixel cell. Naturally, they differed significantly from those to which we are now accustomed. However, emoji did not become popular all over the world right away until 2010, symbols were used mainly only in Japan. Finally, eight years ago they were translated into Unicode. This was an important step, which meant that a user in Japan could send a message to a user in France who would see the correct display of the characters. Google introduced the use of emoji back in 2006, but the real breakthrough came in 2011 when Apple introduced them into its iOS Messenger. It was then that the popularity of emoji began to grow rapidly. In 2012, Apple released 376 new emojis with such a variety, they quickly became an integral part of everyday conversations. Emoji are used all over the world, so it's important that everyone can find a symbol that describes themselves and how they feel as accurately as possible. Everyone calls emoticons differently, and some even give them personal names. Like, it's a laugh Tom or harmful Betty. What do you call emoticons? Please write what you call those emoticons that I blinded today. And I will also be grateful if you rate my modest work with a like or other emoji in the comments.
Thank you so much for watching, you are the best. See you soon.